Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have a 2008 9 Chevy Silverado. And the problem is that the transmission was being rebuilt with a new one. And what happened, we are going to, after that, the technician recommended that a new transmission control module also have to be installed. When you work on a place like this, please be careful not to touch your computer here. Those are hot wire. And sometimes you try to take this one here and come and touch, pop, up, oh, we are in trouble. So please be careful of that. I'm gonna put this computer here and I will try to go down slowly and move this bracket by pushing this down a little bit. Okay, I am going to leave the computer a little bit and then i come back hold on by the way this is very simple after you push this inside this will go back all the way down and then you glide slowly to take it out you see those pins have to go all the way out here just be careful with it stay with me i took it out already but try just to be sure that when you take it out take your time don't just pull it and rush and push it, pull, pull it out. I'm gonna put the other one and push it back. Now, I took it out. I don't know where this piece was sitting, but I know, or maybe from the bottom here, from this area here. But, uh, yeah, I believe this is the place. I am using the phone with my one hand, so let me leave it like this. After I program it, then I'm gonna use my other hand and then try to program it. So the first step, we replace the transmission control module for this car. Now we have to put this one inside because sometimes it could be a core, and then we have to get our tools. What we need to do, if you don't have any any subscription, we are going to have a subscription on AC Delco, TIS, I mean uh, TIS2, TLC, and then we're going to come and have internet ready, connect it, and work with it. Interface, we're going to use anything. Be sure that we have the right connector here. The OBD2 must be free. We don't want to add on OBD2 stuff. If it's add on OBD2, it, it will not work the way we need. Be sure your OBD2 is not add on. like. Another connector is somewhere there hiding. We don't need no connector. Even though those wires, I don't know if it's the same or not, but I will go down and look at it before I do anything. So stay with us. I checked the car, I went down. There is no add-on, this is the original connector. So we are good. Now we're gonna go prepare the AC Delco software. Okay, this is an AC Delco software. I already pay for uh, one VIN so I'm gonna see view here and then you're gonna scroll down this is for any module you want to program and then I will add a VIN add a VIN it will open uh, this software here and then just because you already set it up you just launch it and now it will launch there will, be, there will be no communication, nothing. It will open the, the dashboard for you. Okay, hold on. You see now it's open, he's looking for the connection. I'm going to use an interface that belongs to Ford. I will see it here and I will start downloading the software. Stay with me. Okay, we are here back now. Uh, busy. Okay, we start the car. I put my path through device, VCM Ford. You can use it for Ford, GM, and so as a path through device, even Toyota. Now I'm going to try to say connect to the vehicle. I'm sure it will not take me there. It will take me what VCI you want to use. I'm going to use Ford continue now it will go inside and look for the car in a few you will see that there is coupler Chevrolet Avalanche Silverado I believe this is Silverado 
it could be four cars for the same transmission control module, four cars. But you see the VIN number is there, but the car is still getting weird. You say, look, this VIN number, the computer can work for all this car, but this car is Silverado. So I'm gonna go okay, accept it. Thank God I get the VIN number. And also you see the layout is being changed. 2009, so I'm gonna go to SPS on the left side. The tech light connect is being updating from time to time. This is 1.14.0 snapshot. Okay, now here, everything is good. I gotta go to programming. I gotta go replace and program. And then click next in the green sign here. Now it give you all the margin. Uh oh. It says there is something happening here. I cannot see it, why I don't know. Let me try it again. Attempt to restart. This is not a shutdown, it will go back and come to the same place. I don't know what happened to tech line. Do I have internet is low? I'm not sure. My internet is very weak, you see? My internet is very, very weak. I gotta drive this car near the shop, inside the shop. So you see here. Let me go near to the next to the shop. If not, I will get a full connection there. Okay, let me start this car and go inside the shop. What happened was the internet was very weak at that time. That's why I keep failing. But now I went there and I get uh, I choose uh, another outlet and now i gotta go to transmission and click ok yes the the the, the 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 internet if the internet is weak it's not good believe me say proceed now i'm trying to pull out the reading the data Here, everything, all the information is okay. Just click to the next. Just say next. ECM replace, yes. Now we are here on the next page. Blu ray downloaded. And now from here, writing to ECU, connecting. Please subscribe, share, and like. downloading the software please subscribe share and like and if you have any question feel free to ask this apply to all cars all GM Ford I mean all GM uh, Chevrolet um, yes hold on please the car the car how are you yeah, uh, I got the car. Uh, where's the you come back? I got the computer. Say, don't communicate with people. Use 0100. Just delete it. That may be when I... Just delete the code. Okay. Right. Yeah. Because Thank because you. when when you're working on it, it's going to be empty, then you come back again. Oh, it doesn't matter, right? Just yeah, it okay. doesn't matter. It's keep coming back right away or just there? Yeah, just clear it and see what happens. Okay, all right, thank you. Maybe, maybe your computer is almost need to go away, but just leave it. Okay, all right, well, thank you. Why this is a Ford computer and it's still working? Inside the Ford computer, all interface they are they 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 have J2534 comparable, and J2534 is a is a basic language system for the computer to communicate with car computer and laptop most of them so almost they have them. okay so this is a ford vcm2 there is vcm1 
okay here is done already okay if you want to program something else okay if it's not um, view or later this is to tell you that if you have anything left my subscription you see I have nothing and here is the car all the cars that you program them it show you so it's done I'm gonna close this shut down my system start my car turn it off and voila everything is good I know I have a check in the light but the car have a misfire I don't want to go into that details at all I program the computer and that's for now please subscribe share and like and see you in another video this is Muhammad Harun Idris